Have you ever wanted to explore ancient worlds but couldn't afford to take your students to the sites? Ancient worlds? <laughs> yeah. All right, let's find out more. By the power of the internet, cool teachers unite. Welcome, like, comment, love, pay tribute. Wherever with, you are. Yes, with the power of technology, we can now go just about anywhere. In today's episode, we're going to talk about some interactive sites that you probably weren't thinking about, but can definitely make history come alive to your students. Does this sound like a worthy chunk of time? Sounds great. All right, we're going to make it worth it for you. 360 Cities. It's 360cities.net, and I love 360 Cities. Um, they're embedded into Google Earth as well as a rich means that, you know, you can bring them up on, on VR goggles. We talked about VR goggles. Right. Virtual That's one of the things. reality. Virtual reality. You can use uh, these to put your students um, in this place um, and play around with it. Uh, a place that you're studying, a place that you can't access on your own. It gives you a real sense of perspective, of landscape, of scenery, and the scale of some of these historic places for grandeur and their largeness or the fact that they're really small, you're like, wow, this is a, actually isn't as big as I thought. So I find it works really good with teaching like monumental structures, the, the Parthenon, um, ancient uh, Italian uh, arenas and things like that that you can visit with this 360 degree thing. And if you're like me and love to do things in Minecraft, you can place your students in there and give them a sense of the scale uh, as a reference point before they start their building. It's really cool. 360 City. That's what makes it so neat, too, with the mm -hmm. virtual reality. Because yes. then you can you can really get a feel for how big is this place? How vast? Yeah. You know, are the, what are the limits? And you just need a phone, people. You just need a phone and the, like, $10 uh, goggles, either Google Cardboard or one of the others. How about BBC History Interactive Games? Here's uh, a got great my site. Interactive games can be a great way for students to make connections to learning. Students can work their way through this game and write a reflection paragraph, for instance, go. based upon what they learned by playing the game. Mm -hmm. Would they choose the same location to build their pyramid next time, That's for instance? That's a good question. Mm -hmm. What choices did they make that they would change the next time they played? The link we've provided is just one example. BBC has a bunch of games that can connect to various history lessons. So go to bbc.co.uk. And do all the games come across in the accent that you tried to get us? Oh, yes, absolutely. Okay. All right. How so about Gladiator, Dress to Kill, Housestead Fort, mm -hmm. or Build a Medieval Arch? Oh, very cool. Okay, so if BBC is on the list, then let's go PBS, Liberty Road. If you're trying to study the American Revolution, this game would be really nice to use as a review, right? So students can apply what they know and successfully complete this simulation-like game. It's, it's great at the middle school level. It's fun for adults. <laughs> and it's pbs.org. The link is down below. Yeah. Really, really cool. PBS, Liberty Road. PBS has such mm -hmm. great stuff. I love it. Smithsonian Institute. Okay, you've been to the Smithsonian, yes, right? And I've not it. been there. But anyhow, like rationing during World War II, the U.S., the American presidency, there are all sorts of things on that Smithsonian Institute site. The, you know, it's amazing. So historically, when uh, when people go through kind of academia, there was, you know, you'd go into the university role. Well, there has been this amazing branch for years where people are going into museum education as as a thing and there's so many talented people doing these amazing uh physical exhibits digital exhibits and these online resources that blow your mind smithsonian institution rationing during world war ii the american presidency try these out very very cool okay mission us so i love simulation games um i just love games in general but it's a great simulation mission us um covers different Points. Missions. Missions, right. During American history, you know, various points, right? Uh, it's a really immersive, cool player experience. You're seeing it on screen right now. It's got to be one of the funnest things you can When you said you missions, do. I was thinking about California missions, but you're talking about missions. I'm talking about missions. Okay. We'll Absolutely. see it. Absolutely. We'll see it. We'll watch it. Right. Simulation missions. Okay. I think I've got that Not now. simulated missions. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. I'm with you. Well, we've talked about this before in a Maps episode, yep. but there's this there's this software called Google Tour Builder. Yes. And you can either create your own Google Tour, you can have students create one as an assignment, for yeah. instance. They're really easy to do. It's like it's like Google Earth, but lives on the cloud. And here are some examples. There are some you can look at already. The War for Independence. Okay. How about Japan at the end of World War II? What an interesting so period. So yeah. explore these ways you can create interactive maps by using Google Tour Builder. Yeah, that's really... Oh, dang! Is that the bell? That surprisingly um, clear and predictable bell oh, yeah. signals that our time is up. But stay tuned for extracurricular with more cool interactive social study sites. If we've missed one of your favorites, please post it in the comments below. Uh, but be nice, because yeah. we don't want to hurt Barbara's feelings. I know. I'm but very touchy. Thanks for hanging out. Bye. Bye.